summer steam sale. Uh, I wanted to, um, I guess, take this, uh, well, do this video to uh, give you some of my recommendations for the sale. Uh, I appreciate this is usually I can't whispers sort of territory. <laughs> I usually do watch his videos, but um, I thought this one actually would be quite a good um, uh, video to do as we're looking at, uh, you know, a summer with not a huge number of games coming out. There's a couple of interesting ones here and there, um, but really nothing until, you know, I, I don't think for me personally anyway, nothing which is going to, you know, really sink some time into until sort of September time. So I thought it might be quite good to have a look and see what is in the Steam sale. Um, there's some other interesting things they've brought in, this point shop, which we'll go through in a sec. Um, and it's worth pointing out that every game which I'm going to recommend uh, to you is a game I have played. Um, it may not show that it's in my library because I don't only buy games on Steam. Um, I'm trying to think of so Outer Wilds, for example, I own on the Epic Store because it came out there uh, first. I know some people dislike the Epic Game Store um, for reasons, and absolutely, totally up to you, whatever user platform you want to use. Um, but that's why it might not necessarily show uh, on there. Also, some games I actually weirdly played on PlayStation as well instead of uh, PC. Um, anyway, the a new thing they've brought in is this Steam uh, like store. So you get points for buying games. Uh, it's worth pointing out, I think, uh, pun intended, um, that the points seem to be kind of retro applied because I had like 15,000 points. <laughs> and, uh, well, I don't know if they gave you a, a, a load to begin with, but, um, yeah, I hadn't before I even brought any games. Uh, yeah. Oh, got a free sticker as well. Let's claim it. Get my sticker. Okay, cool. So that's for your chats, the stickers and things. They have frames for your avatar. Uh, so we've got some CSGO ones. We've got a... Um, is that like a Destiny one, I think? No, it does look a bit Destiny, though. See, it's, they vary in costs to up to like 5,000 points. I got the little neon one. You can just see here my profile. I've been on Steam for nine years. How about that? Um, yeah, you can see I've got a nice background as well. You've got your, your little animated logo thing, stuff like that. It's cool. You know, it's free. It's it's cool. It's little stuff like that, but, you know, it, it's kind of cool. Uh, there's some, yeah, global offensive stuff, you know, animated stickers, um, some Doom stuff. Uh, I'm sure they're going to add loads of different games and things like that to it. You've got some different profile backgrounds. You can kind of, uh, yeah get a little uh, preview of it and stuff like that you've got a dota 2 background i don't personally play dota 2 uh witcher animated stuff um is there oh there's um actual that's quite cool some witcher background stuff um and uh emoticons <laughs> that's kind of cool i like that um i have this weird feeling uh that Steam are going to uh, get into streaming. I know, it's, uh, I just have this weird feeling that with like Mixer closing down, or well, I think it's been in the works for a long time that they've thought about it, because you can go on to uh, like pages of your games and people are streaming on there, but I had this feeling like they're going to actually kind of go for it, and this is kind of like a start towards it. Um, yeah, Disco Elysium, they've got... Uh, yeah, I quite like the neon purple, um, and you've got some portal stuff. There's 44,000 emoticons, so um, yeah. As far as I'm aware, the only way you get points, um, you get 124 points for every one pound you spend. Uh, as far as I'm aware, that's the only way you can get points. You can't just buy points um, on there. But I mean, why would you want to? Like, you can just buy a game and you're going to get a load of points. So it doesn't really make sense to just sell them separately. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the new thing they've done. But um, let's get into the games. Um, uh, I would probably be all for it, by the way, if, if Steam did set up a, uh, a streaming service. Um, it would be interesting. 
they certainly have the means to do it, the money. So maybe. Um, so let's have a look. Featured deals of today. We've got Ark Survival Evolved. That was actually free, I think, on the Epic Store. Um, not something I've played. Uh, not something that super interests me. Um, this game, Raft, does interest me. It might be one I, I kind of pick up. Um, I know that uh, it's kind of this kind of survival game. Uh, you have your raft and you have to build it up and stuff like that. And there's lots of exploring and things like that. So that might be something I actually kind of look towards. Let's add that to my cart now. Um, just so I don't forget. Because I have been wanting to pick that up for a while, actually. Walson Lords of Mayhem is like an ARPG. Um, again, I haven't played it, but I know it's kind of Diablo-esque, that type of thing. Grim Dawn. Um, going through these games here. Um, my time in Porsche, I actually um, do own... I actually have a code for this game, which I was sent by the developer to kind of play through on the channel, and I never did. It's the only game, genuinely the only game I've ever been sent a code for uh, to play on the channel, and I didn't play it. So I can't complain if no one ever sends me anything, can I? Um, I think I played a little bit of, like, before it came out in beta and was a bit like, eh, I don't see what it's necessarily giving me here, but it probably has changed quite a lot. It's got very positive reviews. I know Earth, Earth Defense Force 5 has been um, kind of well thought of as well. Farming Simulator I do own on the Epic Store, and it's epic. <laughs> uh, Farming Simulator is great. It's just such a fun, stupid game to play um, in a way. You know, it, these simulator games started off as like... Uh, um, a joke really didn't they in a way you know they, they were the butt of people's jokes you know and they've kind of turned into actually a legitimate genre and there's some really good games obviously the, the truck simulator games are awesome euro and american um but you know there's a lot of other simulator games which actually are really good fun um don't have really have any experience with the rest of these Jurassic world evolution was a game i was interested in but um uh, I I think at the, when it first came out, I think it had a bit of a, a a bad time of things. I think it put me off, but I think they did patch out a lot of stuff on there. I was tempted by Need for Speed. Um, it looks very pretty. It's sixty percent off, um, and I do like a nice kind of modified racing game. Like you don't really, you know, you have your your Forza and your Gran Turismo and stuff like that. But Need for Speed was kind of a bit more in it, but. Um, yeah, EA games do put me off. I'll, I'll maybe read some re reviews on that and see if there are like obnoxious microtransactions or things like that in it, which might put me off. But um, it's, I'm interested in it. Hollow Knight is a game which I know has a lot, a massive following, and is actually I'm seriously thinking about getting that on Switch because I think that's much more of a Switch type of game than it is uh, necessarily PC. But I think it's like forty dollars on Switch or something crazy like that. Um, they have these featured franchise kind of way. Uh, the one I will pick up actually is Sherlock Holmes. Crimes and Punishment is a fantastic game. I didn't like The Devil's Daughter, got to say. Um, so yeah, I've played those two. I haven't played the others. And I know there's a new one coming out, which has like an even younger, sexier Sherlock Holmes. And I'm annoyed at that. So what I liked about Crimes and Punishment, well, it was a, it was a really good game. Um, and you played like a slightly older Sherlock Holmes, you know, solving the mysteries. And it was a really good story. Uh, the mysteries are really clever, but not like crazy stupid. Um, it, it looked nice. It was well put together. Devil's Daughter took Sherlock Holmes and just made him like really sexy. And it was just a bit weird. Um, I didn't like it. So, uh, yeah, I, I played a little bit of it, but it was a bit like, oh, OK. Um, I haven't played it. I'm not into Dragon Ball Z. <clears throat> um, I don't think this necessarily was a big thing in the UK. I could be completely wrong. I might have just miss, missed that generation. Um, but I definitely don't think anime is as big in the UK as it is in, say, America or obviously Japan. Um, I'm trying to think of these games. I do own some of these games, so we'll talk about them. Um, Wildlands, decent game for twelve fifty nine. Um, I own that on uh, Uplay. Uh, the kind of funny thing about this is you have to still have it's like the EA games which you can buy on here now you still have to have Origins installed to um, to to play it you still have to have Uplay installed to play these games it's, it's a weird 
weird thing. Um, you had the classic Rainbow Sixes as well, which are just awesome, uh, which I got. Um, Division is a great game. Uh, Division 2, I'm sure everybody knows, is a, a pretty good game as well. I don't think they've got that on here yet, though, have they? They've maybe just got that on uh, uh, scene. But you know what? For eight fifty nine, if you're really um, maybe a bit uh, short on cash and you want something which is going to give you a lot of hours, um, like definitely the Division or Ghost Recon Wildlands, if you're into third-person shooters, um, Division is very much a kind of looter shooter. So... You know, you work your way through. It's still a very, very pretty game to this to this day. Um, that's not my actual birthday, by the way. I just have that as my default thing. Um, not quite that old yet. Um, yeah, it's still a quite pretty game. It's still fun with friends. Uh, Division Two does take it on and, and do um, like a lot of other things. And the one thing I will say is like the Division on it when it first came out was panned with a lot of stuff and it got a lot lot better and there's now a lot more stuff kind of in there so it's worth giving a chance to if you haven't played it obviously the division 2 is out but it's probably going to be a lot more expensive i would probably recommend division 2 over the division um if you're looking for a game which is going to fill you up as in ubisoft open world games have loads and loads of stuff going on in them don't they wildlands is a huge game absolutely huge it will keep you going for 50 60 hours to, to 100 hours if you want to be a completionist about it you know um so they're games which which really will keep you going and wildlands is a, is a really good fun game um it never really got the uh never really got the i don't know i don't know if it came out at a weird time or what or it just didn't click with a lot of people but it came out and i felt like there's a little bit of buzz and then it went away very quickly um but it was a really fun game to play. Um, the the breakpoint, the kind of sequel to it, um, came out and was panned for a lot of reasons. But they are they they acknowledge that they kind of screwed up with it and they are changing things now. I do own that game um, and it has got a lot better. Uh, let's have a look at what else they've got. So it's, it's Tom Clancy, Wolfenstein. I never really quite got into for whatever reason. I don't know what it is. Um, I'm tempted to, to try out the young blood. I don't think it's cheap enough yet for me to want to try it simply because of the ray tracing <laughs> in it. Uh, I like my ray tracing and I, I was intrigued to kind of try it out, but very mixed reviews by the looks of it. Um, yeah, not, uh, not really on my, um, kind of list of things. Um, dead space series is a bit of a classic. Um, the first one and second one probably being great. The third one, um, I think falls off a little bit in the um it says released eighteenth of June twenty twenty, but that's just when it came to Steam. Um these ones are actually a, a quite a bit older. If you like that survival horror kind of like tight spaces on board a spaceship type thing, then you'll love it. I they're decent games, but I that I don't love them, I'll say that much because I'm not really into it. I don't think I've ever played Galactic Civilizations three and yet I own it. I don't know why. Um, Borderlands, yeah, um, you know, if you like uh, the kind of looter shooter first person thing um, and you like the art style, you like the um, kind of crazy characters and things like that, then you've probably already played Borderlands. But if you haven't, it's there. 50% of Borderlands 3, which from what I know got pretty positive reviews. I don't own it and there's something stopping me from doing it. Like all the time, I'm like, yeah, I think I'd probably like Borderlands 3. And yet, something is like... Yeah, I don't know if you will, though. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what it is about it. Uh, for me, I just think it seems very similar to 2. And some people will see that as a positive. And be like, well, I love 2, so great. More, you know, another 100 hours or so content. Great. I'm a bit like, I like 2, but I would want something a bit different. Never played Armour. I have to admit, um, from what I know, it's very intensive, like sandbox simulator style. Tropico is a lot of fun. Um, I do own uh, Tropico 4 and 5. Uh, yeah, really good, fun games. Lots and lots of fun to be had in Tropico. They're basically city skylines, but funny. <laughs> so uh, a cross between kind of like taking the fun of sim city but putting it towards like a whole island i guess and then adding in the fact that you're a dictator and stuff like that is is obviously cool 
Um, Lego games. I, I feel like with me, I played a lot of the Lego games. Oh, I've got a delivery. One sec, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Um, had a delivery. It was actually my new mouse, which came, which I'm going to do a video on um, at some point. Uh, right, where were we? Yeah, Lego games. So I played a lot of these when they first came out. So Indiana Jones, uh, Harry Potter, Star Wars, obviously. Um, and I felt like once I've played one of them or three of them or four of them i played them all uh they're good they're great games they're great fun but yeah i was kind of uh moved on i did hear that like lego city undercover was actually a very very good game and um i played a little bit of uh, lego worlds um and that was actually pretty good as well so uh those games are uh, might be worth checking out um if you were a bit bored with the formulatic, formularic kind of, uh, you know, Lego games. Oh. Sorry, that's my dog in the background there. <laughs> um, hold on one sec. Okay, everyone, welcome back. Sorry, <laughs> apologies. Um, I'm going to, uh, I've got my dog on my lap now because she wasn't having a good time. So we we're uh, going to crack on from here. Um, yeah, so we're talking about Lego. Uh, see what else we've got here. Sims is now on Steam, which, you know, for a lot of people, it's going to be super cool. Um, I... My opinion of The Sims is like, there's obviously this massive community around it. People love it, but I think EA have been ripping them off for years, personally. <laughs> the, the prices of some of the like packs and stuff like that that you get. It's a good game, but um, yeah, not uh, yeah, not if you like having any money. Um, not played many of these. Not played Five Nights at Freddy. Not played Hearts of Iron. Um, Middle Earth franchise, eh? Um, so yeah, I do own these mm -hmm. games. I haven't put a lot of time into Shadow of War. I played a fair bit of Shadow of Mordor and it was really good fun. Um, weird that that one is cheaper. I see this isn't even on sale, which is odd, isn't it? Um, Cause yeah, Shadow of War is cheaper and that came out like three years later. Um, they obviously have that really interesting nemesis system um, where enemies can kind of grow stronger. Um, which weirdly no one's really taken on i don't think from those games no one's really kind of um uh pushed on it and used that system uh in any other games which i always found a bit strange lego hobbit i've got lego lord of the rings um as you can see uh what else have they got That's i'm middle earth devil may cry max Payne dark souls do you know what really annoyed me about this dark souls was um so i've got dark souls 3 and i quite liked it but it wasn't quite for me but i did want to go back to the beginning and try out um oh they have to they have now so dark souls remastered though wasn't on um sale and i still think 1749 for it is feels like quite a bit but i don't know i think my time with the dark soul games is done like 
I've tried to get into them as somebody who really enjoyed Sekiro and someone who really enjoyed uh, um, Bloodborne and they were just a bit too slow for me. Um, personally, I know people obviously adore them and I totally get why. Um, I'm hoping that when Demon Souls comes out, that will be uh, my kind of way back in. Does that make sense? Because uh, that game just looks so pretty that I think I'll just play it just because it looks so pretty uh, on there. And Devil May Cry. Um, yeah, I own Devil May Cry 5. I had to think about that for a second. There's so many Devil May Cry now. Um, I never played that reboot one, but I heard it was all right. Um, I love the kind of original ones. Um, I don't know how like they the HD collection holds up. I actually own it on PlayStation. <laughs> I haven't got around to playing it. I don't like the fact that you can buy microtransactions, but there you go. That's the way it goes nowadays. Um, but Devil May Cry 5 was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that game. Looks really nice too. Um, where are we? Max Payne, I've never actually played. Funnily enough, Max Payne 3. Probably should do. It looks like it probably is quite a good game. Tomb Raider, I love Tomb Raider. I love all the Tomb Raiders. Um, I never liked the original ones, funnily enough. Um, when they came out, I, I, I just, they never, I don't know, never clicked for me. But the reboot one, I absolutely love. Um, Rise of the Tomb Raider, again, really good game. Really love that. And um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I think, is um, uh, a very underrated game. Um, it came out, again, at a weird time where I think it, it struggled um, a little bit, but um, I think it's a fantastic game, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Um, they're just really fun kind of games. I like them. The, the combat is is fairly good fun. It um, the the yeah you know, the puzzles and the solving and stuff like that I really love. And um, the stories can be a little bit like convoluted and a little bit dumb, but overall it's pretty good. Uh, I like it. Don't Starve is a game. Uh, I haven't played for years, actually, Don't Starve. Um, but it's it's good fun. I don't know how it is nowadays, to be honest with you. It's probably been... Um, uh, what have I got? I, I seem to have these. I don't remember buying them, but <laughs> I seem to have them. Uh, but it, it's probably been, I don't know, four years since I've played Don't Starve. Maybe even more, four or five years. So... Uh, I don't know what it's like nowadays, but it was good fun when I played it. Um, Final Fantasy. Um, uh, Final Fantasy XV is like a good-looking game. And uh, I don't know why it never quite clicked for me, but it looks pretty good. Um, I do own it on uh, PlayStation, I think, because it came out on PlayStation first, so I bought it on PlayStation. Half-Life Alex, I really want to get. Um, really want to play. I don't have any room at the minute for my Oculus Rift to set up. Um, I've, you know, everyone has said it's the kind of defining VR game and the the game of, of why VR should exist. If you haven't played Half Life Two or uh, or Half Life even, uh, is is Black Mesa including this? Yes, it is. That might be a game I pick up and try out actually because it's like a fan remake and uh, it looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, they are seminal games which you should take time to to kind of play because. You'll play them and be like, oh yeah, these seem similar to like modern games, a lot of stuff they do, but what you forget is Half-Life did it all first, you know? So a lot of the physics type stuff, a lot of the puzzles, a lot of the, uh, you know, just a lot of stuff they did, which was just, just kind of new. Trying games, um, I know are more kind of like multiplayer type of games. They're the type of things you want to kind of play with game friends a little bit more. Look absolutely stunning, but I can't say that they're for me. Project Cars is a really fun game. Uh, Project Cars 2. There's a 3 coming out soon, I think. Um, very simulatory. So if you're not into the simulation side of car games, probably not for you. Uh, Jedi Fallen Order is 50% off. Uh, very, very good game. Um, uh, like that a lot. Uh, I think that came out at a time when I was... Why did I not play that on my channel? I don't know why I didn't. Um... Yeah, I can't remember why I didn't. Oh, I didn't get it at the time. I got it for Christmas, actually. My girlfriend got it for me. I was put off by the character in it. 
So I love Star Wars games. What I generally love about Star Wars games is making your own character. I generally dislike the kind of third person action adventure games where you have to go to a set character, especially when they seem like a kind of whiny little emo kid. Um, that's not the case. It's actually a pretty good character and it put me off for a while, but my girlfriend got it for me for Christmas. Uh, so I played it and I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, I've got it on uh, Origin. Obviously, it's only just come to Steam. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty good. Uh, Battlefront 2, I've never played. Now, it's free on PS Plus, I think, at the minute. But honestly, didn't really, other than it looking spectacularly beautiful never and, and being Star Wars, I, I, yeah, the whole microtransaction thing just completely put me off it. And, um, you know, so I haven't uh, played it, to be honest. But I know a lot of people really love it. So Resident Evil franchise is not for me, but totally get why people love it. Um, Battlefield, um, there's rumours they are remaking uh, Battlefield 3, I think. I want them to remake Bad Company. In actual fact, I might pick up Bad Company just for the, the old time's sake, because what a hell of a game that was. I really loved it. Battlefield, Bad Company. I love the online as well. Um, I think that I got more into Battlefield 3's online, um, which was super good. And then I feel like they lost their way a little bit um, with it. Um, I never played Battlefield 5. I played Battlefield 1, um, which was fun. But And it looks great, obviously. They, these games look stunning. But, um, yeah, I never played Battlefield 5. Uh I also don't like the um, story elements that they do now. I like a story where you play one character and go through, maybe two. But with these ones, you play, you jump through a lot of different characters, and I never really liked that. I preferred having like one story. That's just a personal opinion, though, obviously. Um, yours may vary. Um fallout franchise now this this is a, a series i know a little bit about uh uh fallout 3 i own on gog so i do own it on pc fallout 4 vr i'd like to get but i think maybe my time's passed it, it is on my wish list but probably passes you can see I, I do own the fallout series um let's start with fallout 76 because that's the newest one people will be saying is fallout 76 worth 17 pound 49 for me, yeah, hundred percent. Um, there's, yeah, again, if you want something, if you're talking about content, uh, for your money, you will get a ton before that seventy six. Um, I think there's some new stuff happening on Tuesday potentially, um, which I will do a video on as well, um, because it's something which I want to kind of keep going in Fallout seventy six. I, I I like the game a lot. It it obviously had its problems when it's launched. No one's denying that. They haven't fixed every problem in the game. It's still got bugs. It's a Bethesda game. These big open world games, they do often have bugs. Um, you know, if you go into the game with your eyes open, that is not going to be a, a perfect experience. You will have a lot of fun. The story's, in my opinion, really good. Um, I loved the way they did the story originally, where there was no NPCs. Um, but equally the NPCs coming back in Wastelanders has been fantastic as well. So I think in some ways you cut like for me, I kind of feel like I've had a complete experience with it going in. Now uh, you may find it a little bit abrasive that all the Wastelanders stuff will have uh, NPCs. However, the kind of original main story stuff, which again, you don't have to do, but it's there's a lot of content there to not do. And they have streamlined it a bit has the occasional npc now in it but it doesn't completely have npc so there's a lot of reading or listening to audio logs but i think they're really well done personally i think it's really good um it's a fun game um what i love about it is that there's a freedom on your character to just design all these different builds you know and uh you can do that with one character. You don't have to be like, okay, I'm going to start a different class now and then work my way through the whole story again. It's like you can just build and grow and you might find a weapon you like that's a heavy weapon and be like, oh, actually, I want to change my build out to suit this. And you can just do that on your character. Um, the perk cards, I think, are really good and underrated. Um, people will talk about the Atom Store and say how it's pay to win. It absolutely is not pay to win. I'm, I'm very confident on that. 
mostly because the PvP doesn't really <laughs> exist a lot in the game. Um, it is mostly PvE. Uh, you you know, other players cannot attack you unless you allow it. Um, there is the nuclear winter stuff, but that's completely separate. Um, what they do sell currently in the Atom Store that people are a bit uh, outraged at is a fridge that your food spores slower. If you have the like the monthly pass, you get a scrap box to keep your scrap in, which doesn't over um, your inventory won't become over kind of full. But again, if you that's the Fallout first stuff, and if you um, are really into the game, then the Fallout first thing is worth it. And with most MMOs, there is a monthly subscription model to them, you know, which you which you are into. Um, at seventeen forty nine, picking this up. It's not too bad. You know, I understand when people are paying full price for a game and then there's a subscription, they can get pissed off at that. But 1749, I don't think it's too bad. Um, all the DLC is free. So all the stuff they've outlined coming through the rest of this year and into next year is all free. So there's a hell of a lot of content to come for your 1749. Uh, oh, the other thing in the Atom Sword, which people don't like, are the repair kits, which repair armor and stuff like that, instead of you having to use your precious uh scrap which yes is useful um you know but uh you know on the flip side those who play the game a lot will know that you can come across stuff or have multiple sets of armor you know on there anyway um you know it's not necessary it does it give you an advantage i don't think it necessarily gives you an advantage i think it gives you an advantage in time but most people enjoy the time and the grind anyway. So if you take that away, then I think a lot of people feel like the game goes away. But um, yeah, it has really interesting kind of legendary weapons. There's lots of different variations on that. It's a really good game, you know. I, I personally feel anyway. I think the Wastelander story was excellent um, there. Um, Fallout 4, again, I highly recommend. For five ninety nine. the content you get in that, if you've never played it, is incredible. I would recommend the, the Season Pass because I think, although I would say play Fallout 4 first, but like the Nuka World DLC and the um, uh, Far Harbor are two of the best DLCs I've ever played in my life, like comparable to the, the, the full game in terms of how good they are. If you can hear that little snort, it's my dog truffle picking. Um, aren't you? You truffle piggy. Yeah. She's cute. Um, yeah, I, I highly recommend for, for a lot of people had problems with it because it it moves away a lot from kind of Fallout 1 and 2 style of things. Um, oh, Martha. Um, you know, and also I think because... Uh, New Vegas was such a big like fan hit that uh, Fallout 4 was going to struggle to live up to a lot of people's expectations. But I genuinely feel it's one of my favourite all-time games out there. Like, probably top five. Uh, I wouldn't like to say what, but for five ninety nine, I think that is an incredible buy. And with the mods out there as well, um, it, it, you know, just so much so much um value there you know if you get it on pc obviously which we're looking at the same store so you probably would be uh you know mod wise you're going to get so much content for your 5.99 if you want something to last you the whole summer that you can play every day and you know play through then that would be the type of game not really into the f1 so i haven't played that life is strange uh good games i played a little bit of them and i don't know why i never quite got into it but they were, they're good I could see that they were really good never played any Darksiders um, I've heard again that they're pretty good pretty good fun I don't know about the most recent ones do you want to get off you want to get off my lap come on oh, oh there we go there you go I wander off now probably truffle pig somewhere um, Dead Island uh are we ever going to see Dead Island 2, I wonder? XCOM, it's great. I uh, love the uh, XCOM franchise. Never played the Bureau, actually, yeah. 2 99 I wonder if that's worth it. I wonder if it is. 
that's kind of like yeah set in like the 60s isn't it with the aliens and stuff uh, I had high hopes for that when that came out but it never lived up to anything some of these older ones like um, for me obviously like um, XCOM uh, UFO Defense is just an all time classic like it's such a good game oh my god the amount of hours I spent in this it's it's just an all time classic um, and actually I think XCOM Apocalypse was very underrated as a game 74p gets you XCOM Apocalypse um, this kind of took the XCOM thing but you were kind of defending this city um, and it had some really interesting stuff like there for the first time it was real time or turn based you could kind of choose um, yeah I think there you go I've played 18 hours of it um, but I've played more when it came out that makes sense that's just what I replayed on Steam um, yeah I liked XCOM Apocalypse that was kind of XCOM 2 Terror from the Deep was an interesting one I think from what I heard they had to contractually make a second game but they didn't really have time so they just kind of reskinned the first game and made it underwater um, but again it's a really good game um, on there uh, yeah god these are classics like I remember just having like what I loved about like UFO defense was compared to like, the modern XCOM is you could have like you could take like so many soldiers with you and just absolutely blitzing the enemy with like your turn could last like half an hour because you had like 30 soldiers steaming out of your uh, your thing it was so good um never played it. it's common defect interceptor or enforcer enemy unknown's good but i would probably recommend xcom 2 over enemy unknown i just think it adds a lot but i guess that's like story wise obviously xcom 2 kind of carries on so um there's a lot to uh kind of carry on from there i guess so if you want to actually get the full story then start with xcom enemy unknown and uh move on um but uh, yeah, XCOM 2 and War of the Chosen is a really good DLC as well. Uh, quite tough, but um, yeah, well worth it, I think, for the XCOM there for the money. You're going to get, again, they're like, you know, 100 hour games there, basically. You're getting for a tenner, which is why I just love like sales like that. It's just like, wow, the value for money you're getting is just crazy. Um, never played Sudden Strike games, um, to be honest. Just Cause, and never played since just cause 2 i think i enjoyed them but i felt like they, they got a bit saints rowy and i didn't really like saints row um they got a bit crazy uh endless space 2 really good game really enjoy it uh kind of a, one of those like 4x games in space but but looks really nice um battles look good although you don't really do much in the battle um loads of like interesting races and stuff like that to do yeah good game i played that i played that a fair bit um, and Endless Legend which is the kind of the um, where are we, the Endless stuff do, 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 do. Uh, yeah Endless Legend which is the more fantasy style um, of it I think, or is it the fantasy yeah, it's no, so it's not really like fantasy but it's kind of like it's set so Endless Space is obviously set in space and it's your 4x thing, Endless Legend is more your Civ based thing and it's kind of a mixture between sort of like fantasy, civilization, and magic, and all that type of stuff going on there. And uh, a really good game, actually. Well worth your 574. Will say it has a lot of DLC, though. So, uh, you know, if you really like the game, then get prepared to spend a bit more money on it. Um, X4 Foundations. Uh, I would quite like to play this game. I think it's still in early access, though. Uh, is it? Or is it out now? Because they keep updating it. And it looks stunning. It looks like kind of Elite Dangerous, which I do like, but maybe a little bit more um, story elements to it. I don't know if that's the case. It looks like it's it might be. In it. I was kind of waiting for it to kind of come out and get finished. Let's go backwards, because otherwise it can take too long. Um, Metal Gear Solid, Phantom Pain, I think is a fantastic game, personally. Um... Mountain Blade, the new one, uh, is the new one on here? Yeah, it is. 20% off. It's a great game. Um, older ones, probably a bit janky now, I would I would say. I'd say they're, they're great, but I would I would possibly go for the uh, more modern one. I don't know about these Shadows games. Never seen these before. How weird. 
uh, farming simulator we've talk talked about. I don't think I need to talk about Skyrim, do I? Like, if you don't own Skyrim, I don't know what's wrong with you. Uh, is there anyone in 2020? Like, is there anyone in 2020 who's like, oh, I've, I've not played Skyrim? I don't, I don't know. Um, if you haven't, what are you doing with your life? You should have played through it. Dishonored, I think it's a great franchise. I'm really looking forward to the new uh, game from those guys, set in like the kind of 60s, 70s style. Uh, I forgot what it's called now. Oh, I've completely forgotten. It's gone from my head, but yeah, but Dishonored 2, like really good game. 899 again, bargain. I'm going to be controversial here and say the Batman franchises, the Arkham ones, I never quite got into. Like, they never quite did it for me. I don't know why, um, but they, they never did. Um, Command and Conquer, they got the new one on there. Remastered is just 1799. It's not a crazy amount. Um, yeah, I like Red Alert a lot. Um, the story of that, I always remember being super cool uh, on there. South Park, uh, yeah, if you haven't played those games and you like South Park, you should. It's it's They're fantastic games. Fractured Butthole and Stick of Truth. I, am, I actually own the Fractured Butthole on the Uplay store, and I'm actually playing on Switch at the minute as well, which is really cool. That's a lot of fun. Um, Sonic Mania is really good, really, really good Sonic game. I had that on Switch as well. Uh, Doom. I just never got into it. Like I totally get why people love it. But for me, I played the first one and was like, Neh, and never bothered with the second one. Bioshock's one of my favourite franchises as well. Absolutely incredible. Um, I'm one of those weird people, though, who likes Infinite the best. I just loved the story. I loved everything about it. I loved you know having Elizabeth with you and stuff like that. It was so good. I loved the ending so much. Really, really loved that game. Again, I would probably be in top 10 games I've ever played. Um, but the first, the originals are really good as well. I would say they're definitely more horror based than um, Infinite. So if you're really not into horror, then you might be might want to go for Infinite. But it is well worth your time to play through all of them in order. Um, like they're really good. I know the DLCs are really good for them as well, so it's well worth it. Um, I haven't played Street Fighter since Street Fighter Two, so I can't comment on that. Uh, Divinity Original Sin if you haven't played Original Sin 2 it's amazing I get some people are just not into that style of game but it's really really good it's really really good 14.99 is so good and the first one's really good as well um, I can't wait for Baldur's Gate 3 really excited for that Civ um, yeah if you it, it, Platinum Edition I'm guessing that comes with like all your DLC and stuff. Uh, I think they're taking money off because I do own already Civ. So you'd have to add on some money for that. But again, I find Civilization a bit obnoxious with their pricing. Like Gathering Storm is like a whole other game price. So I haven't really played much of it of the DLC. But I have played a lot of Civ 6 and it was good fun. Um, I just find their pricing a bit obnoxious to be completely honest with you. Um, Dirt Rally. I've got Dirt Rally 2 on PlayStation. It's a good game. It's a fun game if you like that sort of thing. Assassin's Creed. Um, now, my favourite Assassin's Creed of all time is... Do, 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 Syndicate. Oh, what? Wow, how is Syndicate your favourite Assassin's Creed of all time? I don't know. I just love the era. I love the fact, I think, that um, I lived in London for so long and so, you know, have, have walked on some of the locations. Uh, I like the story. I love Evie Fry. I think he's an amazing character. Jacob is a bit of a douche, but I still like him. I love the train that you have going around. I, it's my favourite Assassin's Creed Syndicate. And also it's, you know, I like Origins and Odyssey a lot, but they are, for me, getting a little bit too hack and slashy. Uh, a little bit too Diablo-esque almost uh, you know personally I do own Origins as well it's on um, Uplay they're stunning games they're huge games again if you want value for money you're going to get it with these games um, yeah I, I think also the time periods are not my favourite I want, I like something a little bit more kind of modern in that aspect I'm looking forward to the Vikings one um, Valhalla um, 
I like the fact that there might be some settlement building and stuff like that in it. Because uh, I quite like that in Assassin's Creed 2, the way you kind of build up your, your manor and stuff. I liked that. Gives... Uh, you know, and, and in Syndicate, you build up your um, gang and stuff like that. You know, you level them up and stuff. But you didn't really get that in Origins and Odyssey um, as much. Um, I... Yeah, I love I loved Syndicate. Unity is a very good game as well. Um, Spike coming out in 2014 still looks great. Black Flag, people, you know, obviously throw about and it's really good. Rogue's worth it if you've never played it and you're a big Assassin's Creed fan. Um... Three now has a remaster, I think, or is that only maybe on console? I know there is a remaster. Um, two is 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 a really good game as well. Uh, two would probably be my second favorite um, Assassin's Creed game. I've never played the Chronicle games though. Um, what sort of reviews are they going to get? Mostly positive, mixed and mixed. Okay. Uh, Revelation is very positive. I don't know about... I've never played Revelations, you know. Where is it set? I don't even know. Is it still set in, like... I don't even know. But, um, yeah, I am one of those people who, yes, I do prefer the Assassin's Creed where it's more about being an assassin than uh, a warrior. But I do like Origins and Odyssey. For me, the pro bit, I finished Origins, but I've never finished Odyssey. My biggest problem with Odyssey is it's just too big. It's too, too big. There's too much going on. But again, if you want value for money, you maybe have your summer off or, uh, you know, you're just looking for a game to tide you over till sort of September um, time. It's a great option to have, I think. Uh, it's a really good game. Uh, what else have we got? Worms. Oh, Total War. Okay. Total War, I could wax lyrical about for hours. So I've just gotten into Total War, Warhammer 2, and I love it. I mean, I adore this game. It's brilliant. I'm very tempted to pick up um, the uh, latest one, Three Kingdoms. Um, what the... Um, things like for it, very positive. It looks stunning. Uh I don't know, because what I love about the Warhammer is all the different races play so differently and they have such cool, some of them have such cool unit, the monsters, things like that. It's just incredible. I love, for example, you know, I'm playing through on my channel at the minute, the vampires, and I love the, like, the giant crabs and, uh, you know, some of the, the magic and stuff like that. And I don't know if, if I would lose that a bit in Three Kingdoms. Um, if you've played it, let me know uh, on there. I should probably watch a playthrough or something like that, see if I like it. But I love Warhammer 2. I think it's so good. Um, I own all the DLC now because that was on sale. Um, I regret nothing. Uh, you can see it's all in my library. In library. In library. Yeah, I own it all. <laughs> I bought every single piece of DLC. Um, not on this uh, sale. I also brought, I had like four left to buy. Um, and, and a lot of it is free. Um, that's worth pointing out as well but um, yeah it's really good I don't think it's egregious pricing either weirdly enough for, for some of it for what you're getting um, but it's such a good game yeah if you're into for me my biggest letdown on playing something like Civilization is the combat is obviously a little underwhelming but in Total War you get maybe slightly less of the micromanaging of your uh, buildings but the combat is so satisfying. I mean, it is incredible. Um, yeah, uh, that for me has been a bit of a revelation of like, why on earth did I not play this sooner? This is absolutely up my street. So if you haven't played it, I, I thoroughly recommend it. I didn't even look how much it cost actually. Um, I got it. It was on sale a little while ago and I picked up 1359. Is so, oh my God, it's a steal. Um, Grand Theft Auto 5, I can't think there's anyone on the planet who hasn't played that yet. Um, the online I find completely obnoxious and awful, but like if you're into it, you're into it. Sniper Elite I haven't played. Hitman I haven't played. You can't play everything, can you? Far Cry. Um, let's just say, actually before I get into Far Cry, okay, so that's, that's it where we're up to. If you haven't played The Witcher 3, obviously play The Witcher 3. Like, I I can't imagine why you haven't. It's so cheap nowadays. Far Cry. Let's talk about Far Cry. So, 
Um, I'm actually a big fan of, of the Far Cry series. Now, I actually own these on the Uplay store, which is why it's not showing up here as in library. Um, New Dawn. Sorry, let's go back a little bit. So 4, really good. A lot of good fun still uh, in 4, I think, there. Um, I actually think I played through that on PlayStation, actually, funny enough. Um, but I really like that. I love the fact that you can complete the game in like 10 minutes just by staying in your chair. Uh, that's hilarious. But um, yeah, I think that's a really good game. I like the setting, actually. It was a really nice setting. Never played Primal. Wasn't into it. Far Cry 5. Uh, obviously kind of took it to America and it was very kind of uh, <laughs> politically motivated but I loved it, I thought it was really good finish that 1249, great value because there's a lot of stuff in there, it's a lot of fun New Dawn is the follow on from 5 where it takes place 17 years after some bad things have happened um, and uh, is actually again a lot of fun very very colourful game, looks very pretty essentially is Far Cry 5 with a few new little mechanics so if you like Far Cry 5 um, then it's worth getting New Dawn if you're like oh I, I don't know about New Dawn should I pick it up I like Far Cry 5 you'll like New Dawn um, but if you were a bit like eh, Far Cry 5 I could take it or leave it I don't need to do much more don't bother because it's pretty much the same so yeah uh, that's the thing but um, yeah, I think that. Let's just have a look, see if there's anything non franchise. Yakuza, I'm actually considering picking that up because I played a little bit on PlayStation um, and I'd like to probably actually play through a bit more. And at 374, I think that's probably a bargain. Might add that to my cart actually. Uh, there we go. Raft and Yakuza 0 by the looks of it. And then I might pick up the, the other ones later on. Uh, if I like Yakuza 0. Um, trying to look at what else we've got here that I've played. The Outer Wilds is a really good game, fun game to play. Um, pretty good value, 12 99 We Happy View always looks good. I've always been kind of fascinated by it, but um, I don't think I'll uh, actually watch the series on it so I know the ending, so I don't want to actually play through it. Uh, open World First Person Co op RPG. Never heard of this game. Mostly positive though. Interesting. Rebuilt from Ep Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. Okay, interesting. Rhyme's pretty good. Um, I played through that. Uh, I've got that on PlayStation. Uh, Ghostbusters. Quit my playing Ghostbusters, actually. Uh, oh, that's like a DLC for the first Warhammer. Breath Edge was something I was quite interested in. Looks quite interesting. I don't know if it's finished yet. I know when I saw it, it was like in beta, but I don't know if it was quite finished yet uh, on there. Um, otherwise, I'm trying to look to see if there's anything which is a real bargain. I don't think 20% off is like that much of a bargain, personally. If you were thinking of getting Halo, it's worth it. Um, Satisfactory is a great game. I mean, 10% off is a bit of a joke, but it's not that expensive anyway. But it's a really good game. I thoroughly recommend it. Um, Sekiro is pretty good. Planet Zoo was a game I'd quite like to try um, and play. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, I think that's pretty much it, really. Um, let me know if there's any games you're picking up or recommend, because I'm always interested uh, in knowing. Um, it's great when you can have games which are out, you know, a while ago and uh, look uh, still look pretty good, and you can get them really cheaply. You know, like Titanfall, for example, stuff like that. Really good games and uh, pretty cheap. But yeah, um, that's my little Steam sale store thing for you. Um, till next time, see you soon.